little alcove I have for the succulents and that. crow's nest anyway that's the pretty side of it there's another one I want to see that's going to be just so full of these gorgeous white flowers becomes a oh, just amazing take a photograph of that later ah oh, can't help but just be grateful watch how the show you. an update of how the garden's going um I think as you can see our uh, our cos lettuce is looking uh pretty mighty and fine at the moment we're getting some good um, uh, good returns on that uh, what we've uh, what I've done is uh, uh, gone through and planted as I said on a, a scale that will hopefully just keep going through and uh, uh, producing for us one goes out I'll be adding more some good English spinach um, a few uh, uh, standard broccoli um, we'll go up this way shall we yeah um, it's looking okay at the moment uh, started having a bit of trouble with uh, the white moth etc but it's okay at the moment now our uh, iceberg litter's looking pretty fine at the moment uh, the old uh, bok choy and you can see I um, I grow these celery um, I just love celery. Um, I tend to grow them fairly close together, just so I actually take the stalks as they go. I don't really let them get uh, too big. Um, here, let's say our um, uh, our beetroot. Now again, I, I just uh, keep them close because I, I actually eat a lot of the leaves. I, I don't don't worry about if the uh, the beets themselves get uh, grow that much. I, I do have them, but I prefer all the tops and just whatever the beet does it just goes into a juice um, I keep a few um, you yeah, know rockets and little nice little salad types around the place um, this is the last plantings we're looking at, at the moment these are all uh, you see I'm trying a, a new um, uh, Chinese broccoli I love the Asians the Asian uh, greens around here seem to do really really well they don't um, suffer so much from uh, bugs I find they uh, grow really quickly You've got a six week turnover cycle with them and it's it's pretty good stuff and as I say I uh, got a few more uh, celery on the go there They're obviously in a different stage of development again I uh, I don't mind my uh, little rockets and stuff yeah, well just have a selection of the different flavors really nice to put in the salad you know as opposed to um, the straight lettuce it's all good my uh, sil silver shard is looking looking pretty at the moment love that uh, sorry I said silver shard rainbow shard beautiful colors hey isn't nature a wonderful artist <laughs> awesome and uh, something I've been really getting to lately as well is a think in America they call it cilantro, uh, but uh, here it's known as coriander. Uh, growing really nicely. Like I said we've, uh, much as uh, I love, I like the growing the kale because it's uh, it is hardy and um, you know it's a it's a really good um, plant. But uh, the white cabbage moth just love it here, and so as you can see, they've uh, had a good munch on it all. But um, I got to leave some for them and <laughs> some for you. But I have to admit, it's uh, it's hard work sometimes to keep them up them. But uh, it'll go into a juice nicely. As you can see, my uh, tomatoes are all coming up good at the moment. Uh, that's the next bed of uh, celery and. Uh, uh, English spinach, I love the baby spinach, and um, this is my uh, sort of squash garden, but also my herb gardens. But what I tend to do too is like if you people are interested in, um, you know, when you uh, sprouting, well, what I tend to do is I just um, uh, dump it into the ground, and uh, what I find is that at a when I, I mean, I don't do a lot of. Um, uh, sprouting and stuff but you know I just go down and 
you know this it's grown in the ground I just uh, clean it up and uh, that's my sprouts you know and uh, uh, it seems to work quite fine I get all different types I just dump them in there and uh, let them grow for a while and works out alright uh, nice little bit of uh, Thai parsley uh, Thai parsley <laughs> uh, Thai basil uh, I keep the comfrey leaves going around I use them back into the garden again uh, see my I just keep the uh, zucchini here Give a bit of basil parsley yeah anyway so I just thought I'd just add that as a, uh, a bit of an update on how everything's going cool hope everything's good in your world <laughs>